Hi there, we are here at New York in Hollywood with the Phil Upchurch Quartet, all four gentlemen here. Uh, we're pleased to have you. I'm going to start with Phil. Um, you know, I did some research on you, and of course I was blown away with your wealth of experience. Uh, you've worked with Quincy Jones, Michael Jackson, Stan Getz, Dizzy Gillespie. I mean, those are big powerhouse musicians, as are you. Can you share a couple of your experiences? Uh, I was doing a TV show with Quincy, Quincy Jones, and when it came my time to play, they pointed the camera at me. And I'm going bang like that. I'm, I forgot to plug the guitar in. <laughs> Were you nervous? <laughs> no, no, but. But once you did, the magic happened, right? <laughs> uh, here's my great moment, right? Yeah, Camera I love it. Camera goes in, guitar ain't, this chord ain't even there. That makes you more endearing. Uh, tell me something about Michael Jackson. Michael Jackson, I'll have to say, was the most gentlemanly person I ever met in my life. He was so just totally cool, totally laid back. Um, uh, I met them when they were just little, little kids. When he was like seven or eight years old, they were singing. And I was saying, well, the cute little kid, curly hair, you know, everybody's loving it. But he'll probably grow up to be no telling what, right? <laughs> ha! Little did I know. Yeah. You know, so we just watched him grow up. So. Let's meet the, your quartet. I'm really fascinated to know who you have uh, partnered up with here. Tell me your names and a little bit like what you do in the quartet and something about yourself. I'm Dale Atkins. I'm the bass player. And uh, I've been working with Phil for at least 20 years. I'm a bass player. Phil plays bass too. So uh, it always keeps me on point because he uh, actually recognizes every note I play separately. <laughs> So uh, it's always great to play with Phil. I've learned a lot with him, and we've made some great music together. We've done TV shows. We've traveled to Germany. Uh, we've done many things. So I've had a great time with him. I'm also presently the music director for James Ingram. Uh, and Herman and I both work with him. Herman was the music director first. Herman got a bigger pan job, so he gave the job to me. So here I am. But uh, that's me, I'm Dell Atkins, and I'm going to pass the mic to Herman Jackson. Hi, I'm Herman Jackson. Uh, actually, one of my very first recording sessions I ever did was with this guy, Phil Up Church. We did, um, I forget the name of the record. Midnight Blue, was it Midnight Blue? The Maybe. Record that was my record. Yeah, it was your record. Uh, I think it was Name of the Game. Name of the Game, yeah. One of the first records I ever worked on. Uh, I always loved to play with Phil. You know, Phil's a real musician's musician. He he understands. He, he really gets it. You know what's important about the music. And also working with Phil, I also worked with Whitney Houston, Stevie Wonder, Aretha Franklin, Gladys Knight, a few other people. Babyface. Me and Rayford worked with Babyface together. So I'm gonna pass the mic on to Rayford. <laughs> Hello, my name is Rayford Griffin. I'm the drummer. And uh. When I first came to L.A. in the early 80s, I used to go to a club in North Hollywood, and Phil used to work there a lot, and I'd see him play, and I knew that he was, at that time even, a legend in this industry. Uh, so I've been playing with him for a number of years now, and uh, i played with a lot of different people, as, as we all have. I used to work with Stanley Clark and George Duke. And, uh, played very briefly with Michael Jackson. <laughs> Um, but we're all glad to be here and uh, support CSUN. And uh, I'm going to pass the mic back to you. Great. Thank you. Thank you. I, I vote you best dressed. I really like your outfit. You look good, but he's got this vest thing and the shirt out like he doesn't care. I like it. <laughs> all right. Oh, uh, wait. Uh, stop the camera. Um, okay, guys. So you're going to play today. Um, and this is obviously to help a very important cause which is uh, children who are getting help through the education of music. Um, tell me something, how you feel about that? Well, actually, uh, my, <clears throat> I have an 11-year-old little boy who uh, has Down syndrome, and music is one of his passions. He loves it, loves it, loves it. You know, we can never get in the car without him say, turn on the radio, please. And I always do because he loves it. He actually loves rock and roll. 
I don't know how he got to that, but I'm I'm okay with it. Uh, <laughs> he likes my music too. Is he here today? He's not. He's, he has a baseball game, so he might try to come by later if he's not too worn out. But uh, I know the music is a very healing and comforting thing for uh, children with autism as well as Down syndrome. So, uh, like I said, I'm very happy to be here supporting. Thank you. Thank you for sharing that. Anybody else want to talk about that? Well, I just, I've always felt a passion, you know, for challenged children. And I, I just feel something, you know. I like to sit down and talk with them. I love them. And I hope to be able to do more in the future. Good. I really would. I like to get involved. Well, I know this organization would love to have you. Yeah. I have no doubt. Because I know how important music is to everybody. Yeah. And especially challenged children. Yeah. So I definitely am going to be more involved. Well, thank you. And thank you for all being here on this hot, sunny day. And uh, we'll be hearing them playing really soon. So stand by.